Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Tammy with Lufer Fruit Studio and today I am going to be doing the hashtag 50 stack challenge 2 which is a weekly challenge that is being hosted by Amy at Crafty Cat. She draws the prompts on Monday and you're to make two pieces of ephemera uh, for the prompts, the prompts are opposites. And this week, um, she drew out happy and sad. And so we're going to make a couple pieces of ephemera for those. Um, for those of the you that are new, I am altering playing cards and storing them in this little box for future use in journals. And, um, for example, this was last week's, which was few and many. And so, I, uh, did a turtle that has four legs and I did an octopus that has eight. So, that's kind of the idea. It can be any kind of ephemera that you want to make. And, um, any kind of substrate. You can do tags. You can do, uh, journal pages, you can do envelopes, you can do index cards, you can do playing cards like I'm doing, you can do whatever kind of ephemera that you want to. Uh, the only rule that Amy really has is that you have to use the props. So, um, we're going to, as soon as I find my little blending tool, we're going to do a couple cards with happy and sad. So first we're going to do happy. And I have this photograph of these two young ladies who are definitely very happy. And so we're going to ink some of this stuff up and see what we can come up with to get these down on our playing card. So, I hope everyone has had a good week. It's Friday. Yay. Fridays are always good. I'm going to age this up a little bit. I'm putting some little rips and tears and wrinkles and crinkles. and Just so it doesn't look new. And I'm going to go ahead and ink all the pieces at once. This is just a little piece of something I found in my stash that kind of looks like a, a frame with little page uh, picture corners on it. Came off something, I don't know what. But we're going to use that kind of as a background piece. I've got a little piece of scrapbook paper here just to throw in the mix. And I'm keeping my uh, colors pretty neutral this week. Except for the little hints of red here and there. I'm going to do basically the same layout for both cards. All right, so let's get this one down. And I tore this in such a way that when I put it on here, this is kind of like a tab because I have tabs on all my cards, as you saw. So we'll glue this down, not including that piece that is sticking out. Oh, I meant to put this little piece of paper underneath here. Just wanted a little hint of that showing. Okay. 
got glue all over my glass mat just then. All right, and then I'm just gonna put a piece of this Tim Holtz film tape kind of right down there. Woo, I knew that was gonna happen. It all came in rolled. That's why I had that little clip on it. And I'm just gonna staple this on with my tiny attacher. on and I've got this little tag that says telephone 51 and I believe this is my porch prints this little tag And I've got like this little W that means absolutely nothing. But I just thought it'd look cute there. And I'm going to stamp a couple of numbers on here. Or at least one number on here you see that? I about put my stamp on the stamp pad instead of on the block. And this is Archival Barn Door. And I think I want one right there too. Let's do this one. Do I want that red? Do I want that black? I think I want it red. Yep. And then just to Give it a little bit more of a vintage look. I'm just going to take this little splatter kind of stamp. Let me make sure. Yeah. I had used this in my previous video and I didn't think I had gotten everything off of it. All right. All right. So there is happy. Now for sad, I've got this guy. And I don't know if he's sad or grumpy, but he's definitely got some issues. He reminds me of my papa a little bit. My papa was grumpy. He didn't like the grandkids playing in the house. He thought we should be outside all the time. Just 
kind of roughen that up a little bit. Okay, and I'll ink all my pieces. And this is off that same paper. I just tore it in half because it had two frames on it. And this is just a little scrap piece of, oh, it's a number. There's a number on the back. We're not using the number side though. We're using this little, looks like a street map. I already did that. Let's do the card. Okay. And we'll put this one together in kind of the same kind of way. Again, I about forgot to put the piece under there. Okay. Again, I got glue everywhere because I put it on that tab. Bet y'all were yelling at me, weren't you? Don't put it on the tab. Too late. Okay. Let's put this little grumpy guy on here. Oh, you see? And actually, I don't mind that's on the top. So on this one, we're gonna put it on the top. He lives on Saxville Street. Sackville. I don't think I inked that too well. This one I have a G for Grumpy. Actually, I didn't intend it to be for Grumpy, but I guess it works, doesn't it? Let's put some numbers in this one. Maybe we'll put this one on the tab on this one.
and thin. Type just the original, or stamp just the original on there and not the number. And again, use the little batter stamp. And that's it. So we have our happy. And we have our sad. And when they get completely dry, I'll put them in my box and we'll have another week done. So I do encourage you guys to check out Amy's videos. I believe she does them on Mondays. And she will draw out the prompts then. And um, she does have a playlist, as do I, um, that has all the previous weeks in it. If you're just starting and you want to start from the beginning. Um, that is not necessary. Uh, Amy says you can join and start any time that you would like. You don't have to start at the beginning. You can start right now if you want to and go forward from there. Um, I think she has enough prompts for several weeks um, for 50, actually. Uh, so... Uh, you know, even though we're in the teens, I can't remember exactly what weeks we're on. Uh, they were there. There will still be several weeks of prompts to go, so um, you would still make quite a bit of ephemera, even if you started right now from this week. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Everybody have a good weekend.